Living a healthy lifestyle is not always an easy task. You know, we all have busy lives with school, work, and family responsibilities. And so with us now is a health and nutrition expert who will share some tips with us and healthy lifestyle suggestions from her new book, Lose Weight, Get Healthy, and Never Have to Be on a Diet Again. Please welcome Nancy Addison. Hello and welcome back. Thank you. I am so happy to be here. We are happy to have you back. And congratulations on another book. Thank you. And so this Lose Weight, Get Healthy, uh, without having to be on a diet, uh, without never having to be on a diet again, that sounds like a dream made in heaven. Right, and I think it's so much easier than people think, but you really just kind of have to shift your mindset on what you're thinking about. Instead of thinking of depravity and being on a diet, then, you know, instead you just shift your lifestyle and do things a little differently, which creates just a a healthier body and a healthier weight because your body just will normally adjust. You know, it's interesting that you say without putting in your mindset that you're going on a diet, right? Because what happens is, is like once you start uh, depriving yourself of certain things that you like, uh, for me anyway, and I'm, I'm speaking like from a personal note, I, I, the rebel in me kicks in and I'm like, well, I didn't do this all week and now on the weekend I'm going to do it and I'm going to probably double do it just because I deprived myself of it all week long. And that's, of course, where the balance is imbalanced. Right, and I don't believe in that. I think that also, you know, if you're wanting something really savory, then, you know, have a bite of it and really enjoy it. And then you don't feel deprived, and then you may not even want to eat the rest of it. But, you know, if you if you can just, like, shift that mindset into um, really honoring your body and giving it what it needs, and you start feeling better, and then your weight just adjusts automatically. It's really quite amazing. It's interesting uh, because I, I've actually now um, seen a few of my friends there. Their practice has now been, I'm going to eat all day long. I'm just going to eat in smaller portions because uh, the logic behind it is that the, is, you, as much as you eat is uh, what sparks the metabolism. Of course, what you eat plays a role and the weight that you gain and, of course, whatever the body holds on to. However, the idea is not to deprive yourself of what you like. It's just a, a discipline of portion. That and maybe even changing out some ingredients. And you say eat all day long. I really disagree with that. I think we should eat three meals a day, and the, the largest one being breakfast and or lunch because our body is really ready to handle digestion at that time of day and then a lighter dinner so that we can have an empty stomach when we go to sleep because when we sleep that's when we heal and we really rest and if your body's busy uh, digesting food it's not able to do that so I think you know if we snack all day your body gets hooked on always being fed and you never give your body really an opportunity to say you know I really should use up those fat stores and get rid of that and I think it actually lends itself to diabetes and having blood sugar problems how interesting so you don't agree with the eating five times a meal no. I mean excuse me five times a day not even meals just five times for the sake of sparking the metabolism that seems to be the new trend Right, and I really think that lends itself to diabetes and blood sugar problems. And I think, you know, people need to eat a good meal, and then they need to wait about an hour, hour and a half, and then have a lot of water or or something that is hydrating. Because most chronic disease is caused from chronic intercellular dehydration. And what people do is they eat, they drink water while they're eating their food so they are not able to digest it well what happens is you know we're watering down our digestive enzymes so we're not able to effectively digest our food and also when we're washing down our meals with a liquid we tend to not chew it up very well and so it it we're we're sabotaging our, our own digestive system so my book has lots of like easy little tips in it that allow people to just shift a little bit about the way they're doing things. Hmm. And it just creates so much more efficient health for them. And it and it really is a lot easier than people think it is. It's so interesting. It's a relearning process is what I'm hearing from you because you're suggesting that even not even water is good to drink while you're eating. 
Right. I mean, it's good to drink, of course, but just while you're eating, the, the idea is really to chew down the food to a grind and swallow it naturally as opposed to washing it down with a liquid. Right, and the most important thing about our health is actually digesting our food really effectively and then eliminating the waste. If we aren't digesting our food effectively, then we're not getting the nutrients in it no matter how healthy it is. Mm. So, you know, I believe in three meals a day, the two largest ones, breakfast and lunch, which really gives you your fuel for the day. And then in between, you hydrate. And you hydrate just because we're drinking a liquid doesn't mean we're hydrating. Things with caffeine are dehydrating. So we want to have you know water in between our meals. Right. And in that way, we're hydrating effectively and we're also digesting our food really well. Nice. And I, I also noticed that you brought some ingredients here. Uh, is there any particular, is this for decoration? I doubt it, but <laughs> just out of curiosity. They're my favorite things, actually, too. Lemon, coconut, is that well, coconut and oil? This is and cinnamon? This is cinnamon, and this is coconut oil. And so one of my, one of the things that I really believe in is we, you know, can add a few things to our diet and, in, and replace unhealthy fats with healthier fat. You know, people think just because you know, all these low fat things out there, people think that they associate fat with being fat and that's just absolutely wrong. In, in fact, our body really needs healthy fat and it will give us more energy on a sustainable basis than, it, than caffeine with no downside. And we can actually lose weight by having healthier fat. So if we take out the trans fat or the margarine or the vegetable oil, oil out of our cooking, so like for the holidays, use coconut oil, pure organic coconut oil, avoid the trans fat or the hydrogenated version, and that will actually create more savory food and it will give you more energy and it's much more helpful and it handles heat better. Right. No, it, 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 coconut oil is something I actually put into my smoothies and I, I usually do a little teaspoon. I, from what I, I understand, I mean, I really praise coconut oil because it's like this miracle oil that kind of like is it's used for preventative uh purposes with the mind with the blood with diabetes with mm -hmm. um memory with i mean it just serves it has so many benefits to it absolutely our brain works off of good fat and this has ketones in it which is it allows your your brain to access the glucose in the bloodstream without insulin and so it can really support your brain health and your and your memory and give you energy so you know lots of great benefits for that and then um, if you can have some water in the morning like warm water with some freshly squeezed uh, lemon or lime juice in it mm -hmm. you get that big burst of vitamin C it alkalizes you and it also hydrates you and it can cleanse out all the bad bacteria in your organs something so simple as lemon that water. is so good for you nice. and then a lot of people with weight problems have high blood pressure and you can add some turmeric to some of your uh, oh. stir fries or things like that and if you combine it with oil like coconut oil or black pepper it makes it a thousand times more effective but it is awesome for controlling high blood pressure nice and you can take it in capsule form if you don't like the flavor uh, or salon cinnamon and I say salon cinnamon cinnamon because it's healthier for you but uh, it can help regulate blood sugar. So adding just a few little different spices and things to your recipes can make it more flavorful, but it can also really incre increase your health. Thank you. Thank you so much for this, Nancy. So all of these ingredients and, and these tips are, are in the book, uh, Lose Weight, Get Healthy? And never be on and a diet And never again. have to be on a diet again. I have to remember that part because that's the most important part. And so where can people pick up this book? They can pick that up on Amazon. And Amazon. And yes. I noticed you also have a new book that just came out. Second right. version to how to be a healthy vegetarian. All of this can be found on your website, I assume? Yes. And I have an author page on Amazon. So if they Google Nancy Addison... Uh, author on Amazon, they'll come up with my five books. And this one is a bestseller. And that one is actually a very easy read. And it's just about making that choice to change your lifestyle. Awesome. Great. Thank you. I'm looking forward to reading this myself. Yes. Lose weight, get healthy, and never be on a diet again. <laughs> For more on Nancy and her books, go to organichealthylifestyle.com. 
We have to take a quick break, but don't go anywhere. There's more open when we return. <laughs> 